Parker has set his crew two near impossible tasks. Mine his whole claim in one season and start sluicing in just two weeks. This season is going to be way more intense than almost any other year we've had just because we have so much ground to get through. We're going to have to get going early and moving over Burma is the key to getting through all this ground. Yeah, you know, we've never moved this much dirt in this amount of time and have this much pressure to get it done. We're already falling behind this season. Parker's super conveyor is out of action, putting him way behind schedule. He needs to remove another 200,000 yards of overburden before hitting pay dirt. We're just up against the clock, and this obviously ain't going to work. You know, the nicest place to put it would be on Tony's side. He's still got a little bit of time left on his water license. And then he needs our water license after that, so he's probably going to be pretty friendly. No one dumps dirt on a neighbor's claim without permission. But Parker is ready to test Tony's promise to buddy up. We'll make a deal with the devil? Well, it's not much of a deal to be made. <laughs> We've kind of got most of the cards. We've got them by the gonads right now. That would be so simple for us. That would solve this problem for now. It's a short-term solution, but it'll get us way ahead, won't it? Yep, definitely. We're kind of dead in the water, so we got to do something. Parker has already removed two-thirds of overburden from the cluster cut. The remaining third is at the eastern edge of the cut. It borders the claims Tony's being forced to abandon. If Parker pushes his remaining overburden onto Tony's ground, he'd save time and hit his two-week sluicing deadline. So we're just going to push on Tony's side onto his ground, but only until his license expires at midnight. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're in the water. I don't care if it's soup. Get it over the line. If we can get like 100 feet across that whole section, like down to pay and all bailed in there, then we're, we're laughing. Well, should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Have a good shift, guys. Thanks. This really solves all the problems we've got down in the cluster cut, and we're going to be getting gold a lot sooner than I thought. Hey, hey. Hey. How's she going? Constant battle, but it's coming. It would be nice to leave it as open as we can to flop this stuff back into, because Tony's going to go rage mode one day and we'll have to like hurry up and push it all back and it'd be nice not to have a mountain that has to go over. I'm a little nervous because my excavator is currently sitting pretty much right on the middle of the boundary between Tony and Parker's land. So I'm digging off of Parker's and putting the dirt onto Tony's ground. What they think they're doing? Pushing all that dirt in our ground, that's quite a bit normal. No way. Parker's been caught out, and Tony is seeing red. The king of the Klondike isn't used to being held to ransom. You know what it's going to cost to move the back? I'm going to go fix that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tony is forced to bite his tongue. His season depends on it. Hey. What? You made an agreement with the guy, right? So? Honor it. Be a nice neighbor. That's it. Yeah, but they don't say it was going to be that nice. Hey, you made the agreement. Honor it. Let it be good. With just two hours left on the clock, Parker still has nearly 50,000 yards of overburden to ship. We got everybody down here working. And they even got the mechanics in the in the cat. So I'm all for it. I like sitting in the seat a lot better than laying underneath these things. Go, 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 go. go. A 
couple hours left to get all this material moved, so we're going full tilt to get this done. Parker is using the giant 480 excavator to move the overburden onto Tony's ground. That orange flag right in front of me is Tony's line. As soon as the old clock hits midnight here, we have to be off Tony's ground, and his license is up, so... But we're just running out of time. We've only got about an hour here. Oh, my God. <laughs> just threw a track. I mean, with only one track, being close to an edge is not the place to be, because if you start going the wrong way, there's nothing you can do to save yourself. thing off the edge. I slid down off the bank and I can't walk upwards. Sometimes you can get these things to pop right back on. Some people can do it like they're pros. I am not one of those people. I am totally stuck in this spot on Tony's ground with no track. And there's only one way to go. Parker's in a jam. He somehow got to maneuver the 58-ton excavator onto his side of the line before midnight. Oh, boy. So right now, the only thing holding me up here is the bucket, and if I go that way, I'm going to roll the excavator over. I've done some dumb stuff in an excavator, but this probably takes the cake. I'm going for it. Side of the line. I'm missing a leg. Like, how does that even happen? Seriously. 